This video has been sponsored by Brilliant. This is American cheese, and it's not like any other cheese. It's soft and gooey and malleable, it's shiny, and it melts really easily, and it's kind of like some sort of plastic. But it is real cheese. Or is it? According to the package itself, it's actually just a processed cheese product. And according to the US FDA, it's not even legally considered cheese. So then what is it? What is this? Well, that's what we're gonna get to the bottom of today. And I figured the best way is to try and make it myself. Oh no, come on, man. Let's <laughs> get started. <laughs> what is American cheese? Developed in the 1910s from cheddar, Colby, and similar cheeses. Good start. <laughs> That's why, okay, there's, there's a, it's got a base of real cheese. Okay, here, the manufacturing process. Traditional cheese is ground, combined with emulsifying agents and other ingredients, mixed and heated until it forms a melted homogenous mixture. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds really appetizing. <laughs> okay, so the base, the base is cheese. So we got the base of cheese. We just need emulsifying agents and other ingredients. Um, okay, I think we can figure that out. Okay, got the cheese, and now for what I think are the more interesting ingredients. We have sodium citrate dihydrate crystals. What? From uh, a chemical company. <laughs> but no, it, it's USP. Is that, food, is that uh, what does that mean? It just means that you can use it in like pharmaceuticals. It's safe to eat. Should be. And the second ingredient is sodium hexametaphosphate. Oh, okay. Also USP. Looks yeah. delicious. Okay, so this is basically everything we need. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to start processing the cheese. Beautiful cheddar. Looks great. I think just turning it all into shreds makes the next part easier. It's gonna take a while. Faster. I can't. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this is how it's, you're meant to do it. Oh yeah. And then I said, Leave my mom's name out of your mouth. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Second one done. So we now have all of the beautiful shredded cheddar. And to turn it into the American cheese, we just have to mix it with these chemicals. And I'll start with the sodium citrate dihydrate. So I'll first open it. Got some beautiful crystals. Nice. And for that we need 24 grams. <sighs> Whatever, 25 is fine. Okay, so we got the, the sodium citrate. And now, gotta do the, uh, the sodium hexametaphosphate. And for this, we need 1.2. But I don't think that's even possible on this scale. <laughs> it's okay. Two. <laughs> that's good enough. All right, got all the chemicals. And uh, I think we're ready to get started. So the first step is to get just some regular water and to put it into this pot. And then into this, it's got to dump in all of the sodium citrate. 
And we'll also add all of the hexametaphosphate. Perfect. Everything is going perfectly so far. Gotta mix this up. Gotta shred off some microplastics in, into the mix. Amazing. I see nothing. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, okay, it's all dissolved. Should I taste some of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> just, you just immediately say yeah. Okay. I'll get a decent amount. Did you see that? Are you sure you, are you sure you want to try this? <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I'll see. <coughs> that was way worse than I thought. It's like kind of salty, but like a sour, nasty, like, it's almost like, it almost tastes like sweaty. Huh. You want some? No. So, turn this on. It doesn't have to get super hot. So it's getting up to like 50 right now. I think that's kind of okay to start with. I'm gonna add it bit by bit. So, here we go. Time to process the cheese. Looks like it's doing something. The water cheese combo just doesn't feel right. Yeah, it kind of just feels like, it feels a little bit like making a bowl of cereal with water. Oh. Okay. All the cheese has been successfully added. I think now we have to just mix it around. Make sure it doesn't burn. I don't think the heat, the heat is not on crazy right now. It does kind of look like KD or some kind of noodles. Looking pretty good though. Yeah, as, as it's sitting there, it's, it's looking better and better. So I mean, what we have right now is just cheese mixed with water and chemicals. But this is supposed to eventually turn into a beautiful little square of American cheese. I have faith. I, I, I believe it'll work. We're getting there. We are getting there. It's thickening and gooing up. Oh yeah. Look at that. There you go. It kind of just looks good. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, yeah, at this point it just it just looks like a cheese sauce. And the idea, even now, it's just I don't know why in my head using chemicals to make this is it does feel weird and it makes it feel like this is kind of some sort of unnatural abomination. <laughs> but the sodium citrate and the other chemical, they're totally safe to eat and they're found in lots of other foods. And what we're doing here is we're basically just using them to combine the water with the cheese. And when, you, when it combines, you basically get the same cheddar except it's just way more liquidy and all of the cheddar fat and everything is suspended in a larger amount of water. Mm. I guess like regular cheese and water don't mix when you melt them properly? I just don't think they mix, or they might mix, but they'll separate. Mm. That's what I, I think. It just feels really unnatural to add white powders and chemicals to alter it. But at the same time, all you're doing in cooking is altering food, so. I think it's getting to the point where it's ready though. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm ready to try what we've made so far. And I'm expecting amazing results. Oh, look at that. Cheesy. Gooey cheese. It's beautiful. It's, it's good, but I feel like it's missing a little bit. I think we need to add, I wasn't planning to, but we need to add a couple more ingredients. First thing we need, butter. 
think, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll make the flavor pop a little mm. bit more. We need to get four tablespoons. That's a tablespoon, right? Yeah, it looks about right. <laughs> it looks about right. One, two, three, four. And one for good luck, no. right? A hawk. Whoa. I've never done that before. That wasn't enjoyable. But it's gonna have to quickly go melt this. Got the melted butter. Now all we need is some whole milk powder. Yeah, normally you would probably just start with milk, but I started with water, so we have to use milk powder now. Can't add more liquid. Put this on the scale, tear it, there, okay. Now, gotta add 50 grams of the whole milk powder. Okay, 50. Now we gotta mix the powder and the butter together. It's mixing in way better than I, no, no. It... <laughs> now, this kind of oddly enough looks like cheese. It looks like butter, like frozen butter again. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, in it goes. Oh. Sinking. Now there's something really nasty about the smell of this. I, I can't describe it. Okay, I think it's good. <sighs> Time to mix this. And the haters will say it will never mix properly. <laughs> and they're probably right. It's looking a little bit barf-like, you know, a little bit chunky. But, you know, I have faith. I don't know, man. I mean, is there a problem if there's a chunk in my cheese? It's not exactly American cheese if it's got chunks in it, right? <laughs> oh, I have an idea. We need the whisk. And this way, the chunks, oh God, will stand no match. Oh, look. Oh, I see way fewer chunks. Oh, it's so thick now. Oh yeah. It's looking good. I was very worried for a second, but it's good. I mean, I wasn't worried at all. No? No. I think we're good. Okay. The cooking part is basically done. But before we move on, I have to know if adding the butter and the powdered milk did anything. Okay. I think it did something. Before it tasted very, I don't know, wasn't special. Now it's special. What does that mean? <laughs> it feels like a more rounded flavor. I uh. can't even describe it. What we have to do now is just pour out all of this beautiful cheese onto the tray. That's good, right? Yeah. So you get a perfectly, those per classic perfect slices. Ooh, that looks really good. So I'm just gonna, we don't have anything to spread it out. Just use the tray? No, it doesn't really work. Hurry, hurry. Otherwise it's gonna start solidifying it. Oh, it's already solidifying. Yeah, exactly. This is not what I wanted. Uh, my, my dream of thin cheese slices are complete. They're, they're being challenged right now. No, this is, this is completely unacceptable. I have an idea. Uh, no, no, this is not what I wanted. We don't have a bigger oven. Uh, 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 uh. Oh man. Let's see. No, it erred. Oh, really? Okay, I've recovered the cheese. I don't even know why I really panicked to begin with, to be totally honest. It was always reversible. Got the cheese nice and hot again. And the key now 
is we're gonna use a smaller tray that's preheated. And the goal is to spread it out as fast as possible. Okay, one, two, three. I don't want the slice to be too thick, but like right now we're just trying to get anything, right? Yeah. Okay, just gonna close these gaps up. That looks, I mean, that looks way better than before. A little bit thicker than, you know, than I was hoping for. I'm not gonna get that classic thin slice, but it's okay, this is, we made the thick edition. I think this is good. Just gotta put this in the fridge for a little bit. Just slide it in. And here it is. It's all wrinkly. <laughs> it's beautiful. So I think what we need to do is to cut it up. So first cut it in half. Oh yeah. That feels good. It's a nice slice. <laughs> Felt like cutting plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Another good cut. Nice. Then another third here. Right when the knife goes through, it's, <laughs> it's self-healing. Where's the cut marks? It's gone. Yeah, and now, I guess it's time to take it out. Oh my God. This is way thicker. I'll turn it. This is so much thicker. It's also like, Kind of, it's not as, it doesn't have that orange color on the bottom. Oh my goodness. I, I think it really does just look like a piece of processed cheese, like a normal craft single or something. It's got that soft plasticky texture. Do you see the cheese, the see-through cheese plastic? Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah. Hmm. It's like literally the exact same as a craft single. It's indistinguishable. It's like just a really thick craft single. You did it. Wow. Honestly, it might be better than a reg than a craft single. Oh yeah. Yeah, so at the end of the day, what did we learn? I think what I learned is that this isn't plastic at all. It's kind of just cheddar cheese, but with more water. And what I think is interesting is that just because of this whole processing step, this is why the FDA and you know just regulatory agencies in general don't consider it cheese. It doesn't mean that it's some sort of horrific abomination that nobody should ever eat and that it's just made of weird chemicals and plastic. It's just because they decided that it's now legally diluted cheese. It's a derivative of cheese. That's it. Mm. It's a cheese alloy. <laughs> exactly. Um, I think the only thing left to do now is what I set out to do from the very beginning. Get our pan. Drop the first piece of bread. Cheese. Put the other bread on top. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Success. All right, so while working on this project, I learned a lot about cheese, and I hope that maybe you learned something too. There's so much more to life than just cheese though, and there's so much more to learn, and thankfully, there's a fun and free way to do this, and that's with the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. I've been using Brilliant for a while now, and I still think that it's one of the best ways to learn math, data science, and computer science. 
This is because all of their lessons are fully interactive, which I think makes them a lot more fun, and it makes it feel a lot more like I'm playing a game. They also have thousands of lessons, ranging from the basics to more advanced topics, and they cover everything from coding to gravitational physics. On top of this, they're constantly adding new lessons every month, and I find that there's always something interesting for me to choose from. For example, they just released a new course on how LLMs like ChatGPT work, and I'm only a few lessons in, but I feel like I've already learned a lot. Another thing that I've always really liked about Brilliant is that all of their lessons are chopped up into small and easily manageable sections. This has been really useful to me because I often only have five minutes here or there to work on it, but I've still been able to progress. But anyway, as I've said many times before, I personally really like Brilliant, and if you're interested in learning something new in a fun way, I definitely recommend checking them out. Right now, you can also try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days by just going to brilliant.org slash Blue or by clicking the link in the description. On top of that, the first 200 people who use my link will also get 20% off an annual premium subscription.